All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 258 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And he hates call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. When you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice punch by Lee. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh! Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Big kick land. Oh, wow! That kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Just misses with that one. And he landed the right hand there. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. He's able to slip the left there. Big kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in the single power tie. Oh, huge juggle! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both landed. Oh. Oh! Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Just out of range with that right hook. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Wow! What an end to round one. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. That last round's over. He took his best shots. Your turn. We have to go. You ready to fight? Ready. All right. Round two. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick land. Oh, huge kick to that lead leg. just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Beautiful kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go here! Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get it. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Oh, no finish his strike. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Yeah, 
brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. Let's <laughs> go.